Uh, post legalization, the best thing that's happened in Canada is that we have now kind of decreased the stigma when it comes to cannabis in general. And as a physician who uses it in my practice as a treatment for chronic pain, I have had a surge of interest of many patients now coming into my practice looking for advice and guidance on how best to use this as a medicine. I would say the biggest challenges right now in the industry are that um, there are shortages on both sides of the recreational as well as the medical, but the medical side I believe is facing it even more. Um, day to day in my practice it's been hard to maintain my authorizations because I haven't been able to keep up the dose of CBD for my patients and due to that um, it's becoming very difficult to maintain my patients on the doses that require them to be able to be pain free and have improved quality of life. Right now I would say the biggest challenge as a physician is it's hard to keep up with the licensed producers that are popping up every day and so you have to keep abreast with everything and it's very daunting to be able to keep up with all the supply and what's going on in the industry and we are not necessarily um, inclined to be doing that kind of work and so it's challenging right now to keep up with it. As a chronic pain specialist the majority of my patients are on disability and and are not working and so they are actually an income bracket that's less than 30,000 a year. So for that particular patient population, if we're asking them to use pain medications and their first option is going to be a opioid medication or a NSAID based medication that could do harm for them and we're wanting to transition them to a cannabinoid based medicine, if they can't afford it for the level of pain management that they need, then my hands are very limited when it comes to taking care of them. And and in that context, that particular patient population then is forced to look elsewhere because even though they come to me for guidance and looking for assistance, they end up leaving very deflated because they, don't, they can't afford it. And it's very disheartening.